Here's chapter two of Our Climate, Our Future. We're going to start this story at a time and place you know well, right here and right now, with you. Check this out. Today, you're part of an America that's all about living large. No, not like that. Even though you may not feel like it, just by living in the U.S., we're all living large. What I mean is, we each take up a ton of space. That's not easy to see because our feet only cover a little bit of ground. Your room and your stuff cover a little more. You count your home and, well, yeah, you take up some space. But then there's all the space you use that you never see. Like the space in Iowa it takes to grow your food. Or in China, where factories make your stuff. Or in the Middle East, where we get fuel for your car. And then, there's all that space it takes to dump your garbage and pollution. You see, everything you buy, use, and eventually throw away has to come from somewhere and go somewhere. And you take up that space, too. And this is something most people don't think about. We just think about the space we take up in what we own and what we have, like he said, your room, and maybe even your house. You mean everyone lives large? Well, yeah. Whether you live on a giant ranch or in a little apartment, whether your family's loaded or not even close, if you live in the U.S. right now, you live in pretty large. Can you believe that the average American uses about 16 football fields worth of Earth's resources to live? And that's an average. Of course, some use less, some use more. But that's a lot of resources that have to continually be replenished or else we'll run out. That's almost twice someone living in Italy, three times someone living in Mexico, and eight times someone living in India. So you can see why our country lives larger than most of the other countries on our planet. Wow, really? Now, this isn't your fault. You were born into a world made by your parents and their parents, so you kind of got stuck living this way. Add that to the fact that every day since you were a little kid, advertisers have been telling you that you could be cooler if you had more, 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 making you want to live as large as you can. Did you know? That if everyone in the world lived like Americans, we would need five planet Earths. We only have one. Now oh, that's an important fact. Ooh, that's pretty cool where it stopped right there. Um, but yeah, we don't have that many resources, but if we keep living the way we're living, and like he said, if other countries were to live the way we live, we would need that much just to sustain our lifestyles. Living large means we're taking up way more than our fair share of space in resources. But there's an even bigger, more invisible problem here. Growing our food, making all our stuff, moving ourselves around, powering our large lives, all takes a ton of energy. And today, most of that energy comes from burning something called fossil fuels. Coal, oil, and natural gas. And burning fossil fuels, we now know, is what's causing our planet's temperature to rise so quickly. It's the main reason we're facing climate change. And that's what we'll learn about next.